Good morning Royals and anyone else who's joining us for a Monday morning ring today. So I already told you, today is Monday, but what day was it yesterday? Sunday, very good. And if today is Monday, what day is it going to be tomorrow? Tuesday, okay. Now I hope you all did your days of the week cards last week. So we're just quickly going to go through our days of the week. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, what's the last one? Yeah, Sunday, very good. Okay. So. What's next? The months of the year. Okay. Now, this week, I want you to make months of the year card. Obviously, you're going to have to ask mommy and daddy to help you, especially with the spelling of the words. Because I know a lot of my whales love writing. Um, so just, you know, ask mommy and daddy to make dots for you or to write it down so you can just copy it next to their writing. So our months of the year. How many months are there in a year, Whale? You sure? You sure? So let's quickly go through our months of the year. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good, okay. So let's quickly look at the cards so you can see. So what I did which we'll talk about tomorrow, is I did the different cards for different seasons. So every colour is the season of the year. And remember, we have four seasons of the year. So tomorrow we'll talk more about that one. Okay. So we have January, February, March, the month we are in now, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, now if you're thinking, but I don't have colored paper like my teacher, that doesn't matter because I'll show you tomorrow. We'll do a little bit of a fun activity where you make your own paper. I don't know. I made paper because I ran out of paper. I ran out of coloured paper. Oops. Can't find it. I think it's on the other side. Okay. So I'll show you. And then write on top of it. You can even paint it. You can just write your words and then decorate around your words by putting stickers or little pictures or anything like that to make it fun and to make it yours. Because I want all of your cards to look a little bit different so that I can see that you made them. Okay, so <clears throat> our theme this week is camping, but now last week we did inside camping or indoors camping, this week we're going to do outdoor camping, so from tomorrow I'm not going to be inside, I'm going to be outside, and I hope that you are going to spend a lot of time outside too, especially if the weather is nice. Obviously, if the weather is a little rainy and a little cold, make sure you either have a jacket on when it's cold or you stay inside so you're nice and dry and warm and you don't get sick when it's raining. Okay. So, what is camping? Can you remember what camping is? Camping is you have to plan to go out. Because we're doing it outside, you can either go to your yard, um, like we have to because it's lockdown, <laughs> Or if it's not locked down and you go on holiday for camping, you can go to a camping site, you can even go to a beach, or you can go to a friend's backyard and have a camping with all your friends together. So you can choose where you go camping. But because it's locked down, you have to do it in your own backyard. If you don't have a backyard, you can just do it inside again. So all the activities that we're going to do, you just do them inside. That doesn't matter. But now, before we go camping, the first thing you have to do is plan. So, I'm going to take a piece of paper, I'm just going to use this one, and you have to plan. 
if you can't write the words yet, just draw pictures. It's easy. So the first thing we'll need is a tent. So I'm just going to draw a little something like that. So it'll tell me that I need a tent. Then, remember what I said, light. Light is very, very important. Drawing skills have to come out for this one. But because we're just making a little list, I'm going to make them small, but you can obviously draw very nice pictures. Then we're going to need food, so you need your vegetables, your fruits, your water, you're going to need some drink. Then you have to plan where it is, so if you don't have a tent, like I don't, you just draw an arrow, and then you say you need blankets, how many do you need, you write them, and I'm going to need some chairs, I'll probably use two, okay, so then you draw your list on what you need, so you can plan exactly what you need, how you're going to go camping, and where you need to go, so what exactly do you need when you go camping, well, you need a tent, Obviously, if you don't have a tent, you build a tent. Then you need pillows, because you can't just, just sleep on the floor. A sleeping bag, if you don't have a sleeping bag, just a blanket is fine, especially now that it's um, nice warm weather. Uh, you'll need, obviously, a flashlight. Maybe not candles, because like we said, we don't want things to burn. And you'll need your food, your cutlery, so your spoons, your forks, your knives, your plates, all of that. And if you can think of anything else that you will need, because I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting a lot of things, so just let me know. Um, you know, let me know. Let me know what I'm missing. Let me know why my camping might just fail, because I missed very important things. Don't forget clean clothes. I just remembered. <laughs> Don't forget clean clothes um, and pajamas and a toothbrush and toothpaste and all of that as well. So don't forget that you need to still stay clean even though you're staying outside. Okay, and that's what you'll need for your camping. Easy. So today, what what we did was we went and did days of the week. We're gonna start with our months of the year cards and. We talked a little bit about camping. Now, an activity that I want you to do every single day, there's going to be a little video showing you how to do this activity. But then, we're going to do it on one day, and then every day from there, starting today, because today is Monday, the first day of the week, but every single day and look at the weather. I want you to use all five of your senses. Remember, we did our five senses quite a few weeks ago. We have sight smell, taste, hearing, and touch. You can use all of those. What can you hear? Can you hear animals like dogs and cats and birds? Can you hear little lizards crawling around inside the the plants and the leaves? Um, what are the leaves doing? Are they falling down a little bit? Are they changing color? Are they still soft and wet? Or are they becoming hard and dry and flaky when, and when you squeeze them do they crumble up or do they just kind of fold a little bit use your hands to see what the leaves are doing but touch the ground touch the grass is it wet is it dry is it hot is it cold i don't know i'm, I'm not in your garden you're in your garden then use your eyes what can you actually see is the sun out is it shining how bright is it do you have to squint your eyes a little bit like this to make sure you see or can you just look normally is it rainy is it cloudy is it cold is it warm is it what is it and then you're going to draw your pictures I'll ex this is all explained in the video so you can just look but you're going to draw your pictures and then do your weather so we're going to talk about this every day so that i remind you to do your weather report and then once we're done i can't wait to see your weather reports so i hope you had fun with our morning ring today everyone and i can't wait to see you again bye